Um, I'm sure you're all aware of the sexual attack that happened in April here at the community center. And um, I was just wondering, I mean, a lot of us, well, nobody knew about it until it was in the newspaper yesterday, paper for yesterday. Um, what I was wondering is, okay, this was a, a drunken 19-year-old boy who sexually attacked a 16-year-old girl, and he had a Glock gun to her head when he sexually attacked her. My question is, what, since April, what has been done to, I don't know how you can prevent a situation like this happening again, unless you have a sheriff, unless you check for guns, unless you have somebody there watching for drunk people. I don't know what's in the contract because there, um, when I tried to look at the contract for uh, renting out this room or the recreation hall, it's not online. It says, it's, it says you are not allowed to read this. So I don't know what the contract says, but I was wondering what is, this is recreation, okay? Parties rented out, money coming in, this is recreation. And I hope that somebody is going to be doing something about the safety of our community, especially a 16 year old girl. So it's just something that I think once the community finds out about, there may be other people besides me that might bring it up and say, hey guys, what are you gonna do about it? Thanks. Thank you. Can I call off of that? Sure. Yeah, I think it's a good point. Um, I read about it in the paper, like by the rest of us did, but Luke or Eric, has there been any, other than the investigation that happened, have we changed any policies or anything based on that? Do we feel like that was a, I mean, it feels like it was just a random act, but was there anything learned from that? Yeah, um, yeah, John, thanks. So, in the wake of that, and we definitely have been reviewing our building rental policy. Um, we are going to be coming to the commission and eventually the board with um, some proposed changes we want to make uh, from the staff level to. Um, or at least some recommendations to our building rental policy uh, in terms of trying to cut down on any sort of negative elements coming into the community as a result of private parties that we are allowing. Um, so in the wake of that event, um, what we did do and we have been doing is we haven't had uh, any more bookings until we sort of figure out what we want to do, drafting up kind of a means to move forward with that. So we haven't taken any reservations since that happened. Um, there have been some on the books. We have had, you know, we book out a year in advance, so there have been other private rentals in the building, but we've been drafting up, doing a lot of research with the other uh, similar facilities in Marin and talking to a lot of our colleagues in different rec departments and seeing what are some things that they're doing, what are they requiring, and what are some things we should potentially adopt and be coming pretty soon. And, um, and these are recommendations and um, some discussion questions that we need to look at. Thank you. Can I follow up? That particular event, I mean, we do that pretty quickly. I uh, cooperated with law enforcement. It was a private event. It wasn't a district event. It didn't involve our staff. It was actually booked as a uh, Sweet 16 birthday party for the 50 people, family, and friends. Uh, obviously, had a lot more than that. I actually got to do this particular parent that kids, other younger siblings enrolled in a camp, so on and so forth. So it's a uh, I don't know that you're going to, you know, outside of just saying no rentals. Um, but to Luke's point, we spent a lot of time looking at it and when it's done and ready, we'll bring it to you guys and take a look at it. That's good. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, item number three, draft minutes.